BMW R1200 GSA. Now I have actually done some uh, some uh, accessories to the bike or alterations or upgrades, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and obviously the first one is, uh, you can see now that uh, the grey's gone. I'll put a quick picture up on here so you can see the difference between the two. Uh, so I've done some alterations with the colour. I've actually extended the blue frame all the way into the subframe itself. Uh, and most importantly, and I think it looks freaking fantastic, is the shaft. Now also has the same blue. Which I think is pretty, pretty damn good. I'm quite, quite impressed and quite happy with it. Uh, some other uh, accessories I've put on. Uh, just the Wonderlich bag off the, uh, the handlebars themselves. I've got the extenders for the mirrors. They're all gone up. Hello. Sorry, we won't include that. Uh, I've also uh, included, or sorry, I should say, uh, placed on the bike itself, uh, the Wonderlich screen extender, which is working exceptionally well. Um, and what else we put on there? Ah, yes. We put a mudsling on, which you probably would have seen earlier on. So there's your mudsling. And I have put some radiator covers, which are also Wonderlich. So you're probably wondering what is now going to be the next step I'm going to take on the bike. Well, first things first, as you can see, I've already got the mounts already located on the bar. And I'll be putting some clear water LEDs onto the bike. Um, I'm going to install underneath here a Denali sound horn. Let's have, go and have a look at it. So here we go, here's the Denali sound horn. So it's all there. Now the only problem is I don't actually have the wiring for it. Um, so I can't actually finish um, the installation. So the only thing I'm going to be doing is putting the hex easy can. There it is. I'll get that all ready to go and wired up. And of course there's the Denali lights. So that's my project for the next couple of days is to get that onto the bike. Once that's done, I'm going to leave the bike in pieces. So I've got my little area to put all my components or sorry, parts of the bike on the, on the ground. So uh, that's the project at the moment. Let's get on to pulling this bike apart and I'll let you have a look at how I'm going to wire up from here. Hopefully following the original wiring through the bike. I'm actually going to keep those by the way, the OEMs are staying. I'm just putting the additionals on. Um, ah, nothing I'm also getting, I do apologise. Uh, I'm going to be removing those logos and putting some Schrody LED daytime running lights. Uh, and they're also indicators, just like I've got on the 16. So you can see how I've done there on the 16. But I'm going to put it on this as well. Again, I, I don't have those. Schrody have sent them two and a half, three weeks ago. It will take some time. So let's get a move on. Let's see uh, exactly what this is going to look like.